Okay, quick video to accompany our unit on gaming with regard to Native American tribes who do game. This footage from the Cherokee Casino and Resort near Catoosa, Oklahoma. And the resort is located on a prime piece of property with a lot of traffic going by which is one of the advantages of being in a location where there is a lot of traffic. Not all tribes can have gaming because they're located in very remote places which are not good opportunities for gaming enterprises. You can see the Cherokee Nations enterprise has been growing rapidly. As of mid-2006, only 224 of the 561 federally recognized tribes at that time operated gaming enterprises. And gaming has contributed to positive changes in the on-tribal area environment, helping with jobs both for tribal members and non-tribal members. As you see, these guys have to be employed to build a new business that has resulted as a result of the growth of the gaming facility. Other businesses already in place also benefit from this, as do developers who are able to put businesses in places where previously there weren't. So you have people that are non-Indians who benefit from the economic enterprise. The developers benefit, and the tribe benefits, which helps improve a number of social services. And of course, there are some downsides. The stresses on the local municipalities, law enforcement, not to mention the social ills of the pathological gamblers and or other negatives that come about as a result of gaming. Now I've included this image that is just across the street from the gaming facility because the Katusa Indians have an American Indian mascot. And this brings up other issues which we'll have to dis discuss later. Not sure how you feel about it, but you can look at AISTM.org to find out more about the American Indian mascot image. It is a significant contemporary Native American issue. There are a number of controversies around Indian gaming, and as you read the chapter, you'll see why many tribes consider gaming the new buffalo. And while gaming has undeniably brought many advantages to Indian country, it's also created the need to manage a variety of potentially negative consequences. So all this is discussed in this unit on American Indian gaming.